Hi, my name is Luke and I will be showing you the method of joints today. Now this method is best taught with an example. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, Alright, so for example, you have a simply supported truss like such. Supported by pin at one end and a rotor at the other end. And let's see, you have a five kip force apply at that moment, at that joint right there. Now, first thing first, you want to label all of your joints. Let's call this joint A, this one joint B, joint C, and joint D. Next thing, label all of your members. Call this member one, member two, member three, member four, and member five. Now, Next thing, you want to draw in all the reactions for your supports. Now, at A here, since it's a pin connection, you have a reaction in the Y direction. And let's call that AY. And then you have a reaction in the X direction. Let's call that AX. And since it's a rotor, you only have a reaction in the Y direction. Let's call it DY here. Okay. Now, before you use the method of joints, you need to solve these reactions by using the equilibrium equations. So, let's do that. So, one easy way is to do some of the forces of the X first. So, they equal zero since it's static. Now, you have the AX in the x direction and you also have the five kips but uh, going at the minus x direction so it should be minus five kips now solve this equation you get ax to be positive five kips now I can sum the forces at the y is equal to zero now you have the ay going up and the dy going up so they are positive. Now you can't solve that equation yet because you have two unknowns and one equation. Now what else you can do is sum the moment at that point to be zero. So sum of the moment at A is zero. Oh, I forgot to put in dimensions for this figure. Let's call from here to here is five feet. Um, here to here is 5 feet, here to here is 5 feet. Now, dy times 10, the moment arm, since it will generate a counterclockwise rotation about pin A, it's a positive moment, and then that 5 kip will also generate moment about A, also a counterclockwise rotation, so it's plus 5 times the moment arm is 5 feet. Now, solve the equation, you will get dy to be, let's see, minus 2.5 kips. Now go back to the sum of the forces in the y equation, you can solve for ay now, which turns out to be plus 2.5 kips. Okay. Now, the method of joint is actually really easy. You just uh, draw the joint and draw all the forces acting on the joint and then use the equilibrium equation like we just did. Yeah, let me demonstrate. So for example, let's draw joint A. Joint A. Now, joint A has a uh, pin connection the AY, the AX, and it also has the uh, member force F2, and then member force F1. Now it's now you 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 don't know whether F1 and F2 is going to be in compression or tension, but a good way to approach this is to always assume them in tension. Alright, now let's perform the equilibrium. 
Let's do some of the forces in the y. It's equal to zero. This will be equal to plus a y, and then you have the y component of f1 going up. So it should be f1 times sine of 45 degrees. Now, where did I get that 45 degrees from? It's from the uh, geometry of the original drawing, the whole drawing. Here it is. You got 5 feet this way, 5 feet this way. That means this got to be 45 degrees. This got to be 45 degrees. Same here, same thing here. And these are 90 degree angles. Okay. Now back to joint A. Now, we know AY is, from earlier, AY is 2.5 kips. AX is 5 kips. Okay, solve this equation for F1. You get F1 is equal to see, um, minus AY all over sine of 45 degrees, which turns out to be minus 3.536 kips. Alright, now some of the forces in the X direction. Let's see with zero. And that's equal to the plus AX the plus F2 and then the plus as component of the F1 force so that's F1 cosine of 45 degrees 